Good morning. This is Nubia Sunshine coming to you today on July 16th, 2013. I'm sorry I missed you guys last night. I was out and about. I was at the Joe concert with um, Babyface. Uh, the concert was excellent. So I was out there trying to enjoy a little bit of my summer, or actually enjoying all of my summer so far. I'm going out there and I'm getting a tan and then I'm going out to a concert. So that's just a little bit of what I can do while I'm here in New York. Um, right now, I'm not in a place of being able to vacation. So I'm enjoying the things are, that are around me while I can, until I can get away. But um, I come to you today just to encourage you to a little bit to live your life like it's golden. Um, and I say that because it is a beautiful, bright, sunny, sunshine uh, day today, as well as the summer being beautiful so far and being golden. And I know there are so many different things out there that you can get involved in. So many events, uh, so many concerts, so many, just a lot of things that's going on that you can get yourself involved in. You know, I know a lot of you guys work and you work hard um, and sometimes you just want to go home at the end of the day. But it wouldn't hurt you to get out there and to enjoy and participate in the world and the things that are going on around you. You know, even uh, the concert that I went to last night was an after hours concert. So it's like you can go to work and wind down and go to these concerts at the end of the day and enjoy yourself and go home and feel good and feel like you've, you've had a full day. I know I felt like that yesterday. But um, so far as the summer has been coming in, I've been having a beautiful summer. Um, in the beginning of the summer, uh, I lost my mom to a brief uh, fight with pancreatic cancer. I lost her on June 7, 2013. And um, I've been in a place of kind of um, fighting with it in the sense of trying to understand it. You know, when you lose a parent and someone who has been so powerful and so encouraging in your life, it's difficult to try to see yourself without them. And it's been tough for me on that level. But I also walk around with knowing that my mom has transitioned on to a better place. Um, she is definitely, her energy is still definitely around me and within me and I'm certainly a continuation of the legacy that she left here. You know, when my mom was here, she's done a lot of wonderful things for so many people and I know that with her energy still around me that I can continue to be that and I can share that with my friends and my family and those who I love. I also know that uh, me and my sisters and my brother are going to continue to pass on all those wonderful things that my mom has left and the qualities and the way that she loved and cared for other people. You know, I already see it in myself and as I extend that to my children and my grandchildren, you know, uh, we will continue to live that on. So I'm forever grateful for everything that she's given me and everything that she continues to give me. And I know the process that I went through with her in her last couple of weeks, just being there 247 with her was rough, but there was a learning lesson and I was being molded and being shaped and being moved to be able to uh, do what I'm doing with you guys today and to have the courage to be my inner self and wear my inner self on the outside. So I'm so grateful for that experience and I'm so grateful that it was the introduction to my summer because all it, all it did now was just open me up and allow me to be this vessel of love and this vessel of being able to give back and that's what I want to do and that's why I want to inspire you today. You know, we might look at life and all the, all the things that come with it, the things that we don't like, the things that are negative. But there's always something positive trying to communicate to us through that negative. And we have to be in a place in order to visually see that. You know, um, I feel it in my bones and I felt that when I was going through um, that with my mom that it was bringing me to another level. You know, initially I wanted to be upset and I wanted to be mad because I'm losing my mom. You know, but at the end of, the, of it all, I'm gaining knowledge of who I am because now it's opening me up to being able to look into um, my past 
look into all the wonderful things that my mom has put forth and say, well, how can I be a continuation? How can I go ahead and, and uh, continue what she started, you know, in the love and in the grace and in the way that she did it? So that you have to look at, you know, just the negative things that are going on around you with your family members, your loved ones, your friends. You have to understand that it is, it is you have to go through these bad neighborhoods in order to get to the good neighborhoods. And that way when you get to the good neighborhoods, you enjoy everything about that good neighborhood. And sometimes walking through those bad neighborhoods, you pick up things that will enable you to go to your good neighborhood, but then if you gotta go through another bad neighborhood, at least you're equipped with the tools to know how to be able to go through it, you know? Or you'll be equipped enough to help somebody else who is going through it as well, you know? So I kinda look at all the negative things um, as an avenue to bringing me to the street of good things, you know? And I'm on the street of good things right now, and I wanna continue to be on that street. You know, and I encourage you guys to just look into it a little bit more when you're going through a negative situation. Sit back and try to understand, you know, there's a message here. There's a greater message than you. There's a greater message than all of us that the universe is sending back to you and trying to get you to see that there's something here I'm trying to tell you. There's something here I want to do with you. I'm molding you and I'm shaping you and I'm creating you to be this wonderful strength. So just pay attention. Go through this ride with me. Go through this neighborhood with me. Go through this trouble with me. And I'm going to bring you out safe. And I'm going to bring you out protected. Because with all of this that I'm bringing to you, I'm going to give you something good in the process. So that way when you get to that good place, you'll enjoy it even more so and you'll appreciate it. And you'll see the strength in yourself. So what I say in this, in this day today enjoy the day and whatever negatives that come your way continue to see that there is always something good working within that negative to bring you out of it and allow you to smile so on that i thank you for joining me and again live your life like it's golden enjoy the summer it's beautiful